What's up YouTube, how are you doing today? Chana D, your Techno Dad here, and in today's video, I got a quick setup tutorial here for the Denon AVRX 4400H. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a 9.1 channel setup to an 11.1 channel setup. And yes, I'll be using the Outlaw Model 5000 for this demonstration. All right, so here we are in the Denon menu. So what we're gonna do is go into speakers, go down to manual setup, and go into amp assign. Now here we have the 9.1 channel setup. This is what I've got in my living room. I've got five ear level speakers and four height channels. What we wanna do here is add the surround back channels to bring this up to 11.1. .1. So in assign mode, we go from 9.1 to 11.1. .1. At the bottom you see it says, assigns all nine internal amplifiers to the main zone for surround sound speakers. Must use external amp for two channels. Oh, first let's go check out the terminal configuration. As you can see, the surround back right and surround back left are like grayed out and not being used. Currently we have nine speakers being used by the X4400H. Let's back out of that and now add the surround back channels. And when we go into layout, we need to change five channel to five channel and surround back. Now, if you notice, a pre-out section appears at the bottom and it says rear height. And if you look at the diagram, the rear height channels now say pre. So this is set up to where you need to connect a two channel amplifier for just the rear height speakers. This is not what I recommend. If you're gonna take that step and get a two channel amplifier, you're better off powering your front speakers. So here we can change the pre-out from the rear height to front. So now the Denon will be powering all the height speakers and your surround speakers, your surround back speakers, and your center channel, but it will not be powering the front two speakers. All right, so now we go into terminal configuration again, and you see now the surround back right and surround back left are in service. The front right and front left are not in service. And you can see the front left and right pre-outs have been highlighted or turned on. All right, so now if we were to change it to the height two as the pre-outs, you can see that height two is grayed out on the far right, both the height two right, height two left. And in the pre-out section, the height two left and right are highlighted or designated as on. And all the pre-outs are already on. So you can actually plug in a three channel amplifier you can power your left front, your right front, and your center with an external power amplifier. Or you could take it a step further and get a five channel amplifier and power your five main speakers and let the Denon power the other six speakers. So you've got a little bit of flexibility, not total flexibility because this isn't a full-fledged preamp processor where you can actually route certain speakers to be amplified. At least they give you a little bit of leeway and you're able to power the front and let the Denon power the rear heights. So that's pretty cool. Now one thing we have to remember is we need to go into speaker config. If you add speakers in the amp assign section, we always need to go to speaker config and double check to make sure that those new speakers that we just added are on. As you can see here, surround back is set to none. So anytime you add anything, in Ampersign, you always gotta come back to speaker config and set it up properly. So here we have small and we can choose between one speaker or two speakers. Well, we want the 11 channel, so we set it to two speakers. And now if you plug speakers in, you'll get sound out of it. When surround back was set to none, you wouldn't hear anything. So don't ever forget this step. All right, just so you guys can see, once again, I've got front left, front right, center, surround left, surround right plugged into the Outlaw Model 5000. And this amplifier is around 599 and it's doing a great job paired up with this Denon X4400H. Now, if you had the Denon and you wanted to go 11 channels and just didn't have the money for, let's say the 6400, well, then you can get the 4400 and then down the road, get a two, three or five channel amplifier. And I'll put some links down in the description so you guys can check out some options if that's the route you're gonna go. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.
Peace.